Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. So yes, I returned to the main. Prime reason, no matter what account I'm playing on, and I haven't played on the main for a little while, but like if it's the low diamond smurf, if it's the autofill account, things are just going really bad recently. So I was like, if games are going bad anyway, I may as well just play on the main account. Uh, the game itself though is like a diamond three game with some randomness. So there's some diamond two, there's a plat one, it's all over the place. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a good game. I'll explain what's going on in, in the game. But we have dual queue on our side. Two dual queues. They have none. So, yup. Uh, did also say Carthus likes to invade, by the way. Um, weirdly as a Carthus, if he does do that. But, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully this game will go good. Unfortunately for me, uh, the last four games have ranked. Yesterday and today, four games. I've technically had someone leave the game before the game ends. Uh, the last game of rank we played, my junglers went 1 and 15, and that's been kind of the trend for the like last four games. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit rough at the moment. Unfortunately. Hopefully we'll be alright though. Again, I still enjoy League. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't. And uh, I think I've been playing okay. There's just been unfortunate situations happening, and that's all. We'll be fine. Comp wise, uh, both well, their comp's odd. Um, Carthus bot lane with a Pantheon, so I guess Pantheon's early game can block off for Carthus's early game weakness. Could go quite well in that, I guess. We're against a Zoe, everybody's favorite mid laner to lane against. Uh, but we are against a Velkoz, who, if I play this well, I can do well against a Zoe. But the thing is, I've always found if you make one mistake against a Zoe, you're probably dead. Um, I, I, that's what I would say about Zoe is like, yeah, she's beatable, but she's very, if you make a mistake, she can kill you more than most other mages. Um, she's not forgiving. So yeah, um, hopefully we'll be all right. Oh, I thought she'd dodge down. She didn't. Velgun and Zoe. He can be. If you don't get hit, hit by sleeps and you land your E knock-up combo, you can kill a Zoe. <coughs> I didn't see if she was a Zoe main. Did anybody see? That's really good. The early game Pantheon dying. Knock up was really close. Nice, dudes. Nice! She's not a Zoe main or anything? Does she play Zoe actively? Mm. She went for the sleep on me, not Trundle. Oh my god, bot lane, let's go. With how my league games have been going recently, I am A-OK -okay with having a game that my team kind of carrying me. me. Me happy about that. I will welcome it. She plays Velkoz? Wait, really? Wait, why did she put Zoe into Velkoz then? She should know... Eh? <laughs> she should know Velkoz is good into Zoe. Um... Yeah, go for this. But this is the negative of going kind of these weirder lanes. This is a standard lane. It's a standard lane for a reason. People know a standard lane will work. A weird lane, it can work, but it's going to probably work less often. So is it AP Shivana jungle? Yeah, Dark Harvest. AP Shivana. They got Zack top, by the way. Which, eh, people have been asking me about that. It's been gaining popularity. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think Zack is, and as a champion, is actually in a very strong place. Arguably, maybe too strong. Because sometimes you see Zacks build zero damage and they can kill people. And it's like, hmm. not sure that should probably be a thing, but okay. Um, but yeah. 
and obviously as um well, as a Zack you can buy what's it? Oh she went electrocute. Hey oh bot lane, let's go, let's go, bot lane, let's go, double kill. Let's go, dude. I'm A-OK -okay with this. Huzzy's happy right now. This is a bit different. If, if, if I'm like, Huzzy's hesitant. If, it's just very, I'm not used to this. My last few days of League have not been going like this. So I'm still expecting my jungler to go 10 deaths or something. But yeah, this is nice. This is good so far. Do I think teleport TP or ignite is better into an even lane? Depends your playstyle at that point. Depends your playstyle. Ooh, Zack. Zack! Top lane Zack went bot lane. And got a kill. She is gone. I was going to see if I could like, alter or something. God damn it, dude. Ah, Huzzy Cannon. Alright, let's go back. Oh, she didn't go back. No, it's too risky. I'm just going to get ganked by a Shivana if I stay, aren't I? I'm not, I'm not risking it. Not risking it. So Maokai stayed top. He didn't have teleport available because I think he TP back to top. Uh, remember, Shivana will want dragons. Everyone wants dragons, but Shivana does actually get direct strengths from killing them. She gets resistances, and if she's going AP Shivana, which she is, she won't get much resistances. So getting dragons is actually very valuable to AP Shivana because she can get tanky with also being AP. Um... Huh. See, after Zoe's ult is when as a Velkoz, if you don't get hit by the sleep, you can actually go a little bit aggressive. Oh my god. Without even, like, flash, she still has so much strength, that champion. Jesus Christ. Uh, Bullseye Eye, how's it going, dude? 16 months of tier 1. So it's cheers, mate. Cheers to you, my dude. And thanks to the long-term support. Means a lot. Let's go, bot lane. Doosh, 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 doosh. Nice. Now run away from Carthus passive, and then you can kill not the Pantheon. Okay, no mind. She might do this, the Shivana. There's a chance. Or oh, she's rotating bot lane. She is. Thresh is dead. Oh, he might actually not be dead. No, he's not. Oh, I don't think... No, he's not dead. There's no way. He is dead. How did he die? Oh, she had a tower, though. Nice. That was actually really close. <clears throat> oh! Sloppy Pantheon play. Nice, Trundle. That could be Dragon, maybe? Which, again, is very good, because you're denying the Dragon. That's a Kirby base right there. Mm-hmm. That is what is known in our community as a Kirby base. Yeah, you also just saw, by the way, why you have to take cleanse against a Zoe. <clears throat> Without it, you're just going to lose the trades. Because by the time you come out of the sleep, she can just leave with her ult. Having the cleanse can make you be able to fight her straight away. So it makes you squishy, but you basically have no other choice. In most situations, there are some people that can ignore it. Like, if you're playing more of an assassin pick, like a Zed, yeah, you're not going to take cleanse. You're going to take Ignite because you have the burst to uh, kill.
kill a Zoe in that time. But yeah. <clears throat> How's Maokai doing? He's doing pretty good, actually. Z uh, obviously, Zack did that one gank. Maokai hasn't, but he's doing fine. Okay, Rift. Where's that going to go? Might go top. Or she'll save it for bot lane, maybe. Do, 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 do. A creeping Koala long-term viewer says, So wait, so Huzz has a winning bot lane in the jungle that takes dragons? What is going on? I know. It's crazy. So Shivana's up there somewhere. Need to push this and then probably make my way. Making my way down, 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 down. Oh no. Zoe's here as well. Damn. Uh, well, that's terrible. This <sighs> bottling's going good. Have to use cleanse, otherwise I'm dead. I just went top lane as well, just continued going top, just to make sure that they couldn't use... Uh, if you're wondering, like, why was Ash under tower range? She knew she was dead from Karth Assault. The only way was, like, doing okay there, was killing the Karthus to go neutral. She just didn't do enough damage in time. Oh, God. Survive, Thresh! He's dead. Eh, he probably could have left a little bit earlier. And the game's going fine. Scaling is what I'm a little bit weirded out with at the moment. Because I have no idea who outscales who this game. Because, like, they have a Karthus who obviously scales well. They've got a Zac of Shivana they scale well. Pantheon falls off, and he's having a pretty bad game anyway. But uh, the Nars, Velkos scales well. Trundle's pretty good. Ash is pretty good. Maokai's tanky. So I, I, get, I have no idea who outscales who. This is the, the other problem with like weirder team comps. Like Zack Top, Carthus, Pantheon, Bot lane. Is It's harder to know about scaling because it's less normal. Um. Mm. Oh, he had a thing. My bad. She flashed some pretty short. Uh, dragon. Yeah, they are full AP apart from Pantheon. So that's not bad as well for us because Pantheon falls off. So they are more or less full AP in late game. What happened? Oh my god. Sorry, that was a very distracting moment. Heidi with five gifty subbies. Thank you so much, Heidi. Good survival by myself, if I do say so myself. And she's probably going to use Rift Herald in mid lane. Uh, Heidi, with uh, five gifty subbies. Thank you so much. There's the two huzzy cheers. <laughs> Heidi has a routine of gifting subbies and then do, does the two huzzy cheer emotes like a couple seconds after. It's funny. Okay, we can take this fight for sure. Oh, she has a flash from me, I guess. <clears throat> that shouldn't do anything. Then we can rotate over to Dragon. And shivana has got no ult for it, too. That would, this would be good timing. She should not go back. And she went back. Not the best timing by Ash. Okay. Luckily for us, it seems the enemy team went back as well. I doubt I'm going to be given that. Maybe I'll be given the next one. 
Obviously, I could always, like, ping it and maybe he'd give it to me, but I don't mind. I don't mind. Not yet. Because I do, by the way, right now, still feel that I could pretty much die at any moment. <laughs> this is one of those lanes that you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, one mistake and I'm just dead. And this isn't even a Zoe player. Right? Someone said. So let's see. She is a Silas Velkos player, mainly. She's played... Okay, she's played a bit of Zoe, but, like, it's not one of her mains. Damn. I was, going, I was thinking about going bot lane, but I don't think I need to uh, push this up. If Zoe's going bot lane, the least we can do is get it to the tower, and then it denies her minions and maybe give me nothing, actually. <sighs> God damn, it's so annoying laning against one. He's surviving a long time, by the way. What the hell? He's nearly 2v1-ing. Look at Maokai go! I think he's dead, but, like, he's done a really good job. He's still not... He finally died. I mean, fair play to Maokai. I thought she was going to keep running at me. Do I go Merc Treads this game because the enemy comp? I honestly think I might, as crazy as that sounds. I've got true damage as Velkos, so Pen obviously is good, but Survivor, you can't do any damage if you're dead. And I think Mercs can actually just give me more this game. So I think I'm actually going to do Merc Treads. It hurts me that I'm doing it, but I think it's smarter. Shivana's top lane quite a lot. Oh, she did the other rift. Oh, that was so close. Okay, they got him. Oh, she might be dead too. She is. Nice. And he's dead. Nice. Good job, team. So this, this game for me has been, you know, I haven't really made a big impact yet, but I honestly don't know if I would have been able to, if I'm honest. Like, any time that we've nearly got this Zoe, Shivana's generally come. But also, laning against a Zoe is incredibly difficult. Hmm. Wait, I've got chat on. I just noticed. There's no... Like, if I just noticed that, or like... Has no one been typing? I have no idea. Is Zoe an early or late game champ? Yes. She can get early kills and late kills. She's just like, she's high risk, high reward. That's what Zoe is. If it goes bad for a Zoe, it goes usually pretty damn bad. But, uh, yeah. Can we look for a little flank? Why is everybody here? Dragon's not for another 30, 40 seconds. This is a bit weird. Zack's here. Ooh, Thresh might be out of position. Oh, that was bad timing. <laughs> Oh, is that fine? Ooh, there's a Karthus in the game. What killed me? What happened? Did she snipe me? I have no idea.
Oh, was it a bubble on the floor? Um, a sleep zone on the floor? Oh. Damn. Too much going on to see. Poor Luden. Yeah, it might oh it might have been Ludens, maybe. If he can just delay the dragon, we'll be okay. Just delay, 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 delay. They're not smart. He's just gonna run in and smite it. Oh, they had vision of him. Never mind. Damn. I thought they were just letting him like steal that. Which would have been a little oh wait. Go on, lad. That champion! I'm getting triggered. Oh, my God. I'm getting triggered from a Zoe. Wait, so someone apparently in my Twitch chat just clipped where my death, and apparently the sleep was not showing. Apparently. It might have been. Was it Ludens that killed me? Like, I don't know. Like, a, the Ludens proc off her E? Good arrow! I should have flashed. Damn. I should have flashed. Ugh. Again, they're all AP, so go... I'm thinking Leandri, because we can just burn through these people pretty easy. And then... God, is it Banshees? It might be. We need Trundle just to get so much MR this game. And if we protect the Ash, I think we'll be completely fine. Because, like, Ash will be able to shred through these. Good! Well done, Thresh. Good hook. Can we do Baron off that? Like, honestly, I think Baron is the call. Cool. The bubble was in the wall. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, they're very squishy. If I can land a combo, I think we're pretty good. But just landing it. There it is. Is that now, Baron? Could be. I don't know what those two are doing. Just zoning. We can back, we can back, we can back. I'm going around. That's not killing anyone. What the hell? Um, that was um. He's one of. I'm telling guys. I'm legit telling you something's happened to League of Legends again. So what have I said? My last five game, uh, four games on other accounts. Someone is going crazy deaths. It's just not happening to me this game. It's the enemy team. He's one and twelve. There is someone in every single game recently that is like 1 and 15 or 1 and 12. Every game. I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. It's bizarre. The It's like the feedening. Just, it's nuts. Literally nuts. There. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Go!
Can't get the kill. Wait, they got someone over. Oh, they got the pants. Okay. One and 13. <laughs> I'm telling you, right? It's every game. The ocean's obviously really good. It makes us closer to the soul. The dragon soul. And so far, it's been an interesting game at least. It's not been like a one-sided stomp. Do I go greedy or do I go survivability? Um, I'm going to go survivability. As I said, I'm, I'd like to go death cap right now if I'm completely honest. But they have four MR people. This guy's now buying Leandries as well. Um, magic damage. It's just the better thing to do. So I can't do any damage if I'm dead. And they have four people. This guy's having a terrible game. So they, they've just got magic damage. I may as well build to, to, to counter it. That's that's where my headspace is. I'm sure there are some Velkos players that are screaming on the monitor go right now, go like, "No, get Death Cap!" I'm sure, but like just where I am, my logic of this game, I just think surviving is just healthier. Okay, maybe this guy isn't. Ting. He's now one and fourteen, and he was here alone. Which uh, I don't know. Very weird. Oh. Nice. The enemy team has no strength now. Like, look at Maokai's two items. Trundle's got Spirit Visage. I honestly just think that they're, they, we've just out-comped them at this stage. They just can't do enough damage to all the magic resists that we've got. And that's probably game. Yeah. Yeah, this Pantheon's in too. Ooh. I don't want to die. If I stay here, I'm so dead. <laughs> Am I? Wait a minute. I'm not dead. Oh, snap. There we go. All right. Good game. Oh my god, that feels so good after like two days of terrible league games. I go on the main account of all accounts and I get a good game. I think I played relatively well. It was it was a rough it was a rough lane phase, but like we did fine. Just couldn't get any of those like big solo kills. And yeah, I think this game our uh, our comp just kind of did a lot better than theirs. Um to be honest, like their comp kind of sucked. But we did it. We made a video. That's good. Uh, right, we went 7-3-14, a lot of assists, 187 farm, plus 22, which is pretty good. That's a nice place to be. Uh, and then damage-wise, dealing the third most of my team, which is definitely what I would take. I did more damage than... I did more damage than Zoe. That's actually a bit surprising. Obviously, Karthus' damage is always going to be a lot, considering it's Karthus. He does five-man ultis, uh, so his damage is always a bit deceptive. Um, but yeah, doing more than the Zoe is a bit surprising. Uh, Shivana doing good damage. And then other than that, the Zack also not doing that too bad. Maokai having a lot of damage, by the way. He was doing well. You guys saw he nearly 2v1 double killed in top lane. Kind of crazy. Uh, but that's the game. First good game that I've had in a good few days. And that's put me in a really good mood. So I'm happy about that. If you guys enjoyed it, though, do throw... What the hell's happening in Twitch chat? Do throw a like on the video. Throw a comment. Throw a subscribe. Let me know how Solar Q is going for you. I presume most people are not having a great time at the moment, but I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.